everyone, I'm Sandia Conti for Ring TV, and I finally got Errol Spence. Last time I spoke with you, you kind of crashed my interview with Keith Thurman. <laughs> that was fun. Um, I'm really hoping that I will see that fight eventually. I think that was the most war of the words that we're going to get from you guys. But, you know, I noticed this about you. You and Mikey are the most even-keeled gentlemen that when there's no, like, spit talking. No, do you guys like, oh, yes, he's good. We're going to fight. It's going to be a good fight. Come on, tell me how you feel, Errol. Show me, show me that Texan love. Why, why should fans watch this on pay-per-view? Um, it's an entertaining fight. I mean, j it doesn't matter, you know. You know, I might be soft-spoken or I talk nice, but everybody knows once I get in the ring, it's fan-friendly, and I always put on great performances. You know, even if it's one-sided, nobody can say that you know Earl Spence been in the back. Oh, I've been in a bad fight. So um, even with Mikey Garcia, nobody can say Mikey Garcia has been in a bad fight. So you know, I'm 100 percent prepared for the Mikey Garcia that's gonna come. You know, I'm not looking at you know I'm physically bigger than him or I'm the bigger guy, I'm looking at straight skills and talent that's going to win this fight over. So everybody should watch this fight because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fan friendly and it's going to be electrifying and I'm going to put on another great performance. Uh, you know, there was a thing on Fight Hub that he asked you, what did you think of him? And when he's bulked up, uh, he looked fat and sloppy. And I asked him, I went up to snack and I trained with him. <laughs> I was wearing the Bane thing and the Altidu Dome. <laughs> when you see him now, what do you think? Like. I know just because he doesn't have muscles doesn't mean he doesn't have power. But what kind of Mikey do you expect of him? What kind of Mikey are you going to get in the ring that night? Well, I think the same Mikey. I mean, Mikey always looked good in his fights. I mean, he always come 100% prepared. I mean, he's 39-0 for a reason. You know, he's, you know, four-division champion for a reason. So, um, you know, and he took his fight for a reason. He actually believed in something. So even with his father and, um, you know, his brother telling him not to take the fight. So, um, you know, I'm anxious to see, you know, what he's looking for. And like I say, it's always look good on the outside until you get in there. So, um, you know, I hope he has the same energy that he's been having outside the ring <laughs> and, you know, bring it in the ring. So uh, it's going to be great. When you first heard that he, he, when he called you out, what was your initial reaction? Did you think it was a joke? Oh, uh, but first I really think nothing of it. I just said, you know, he kind of clout chasing a little bit, you know, just keep saying my <laughs> name. Using your name? Yeah, because nobody wanted to fight. And then, uh -huh. you know, and then he said it a second time. And then I got the call from my manager saying that he wants to fight. You know, he's adamant about fighting me. So I said, okay. And uh, it was an easy fight to make, you uh -huh. know, and uh, basically wasn't no egos involved or anything like that. And uh, it got made pretty fast. So um, I'm just excited to be here and be 30 days out. God, this is what your second your second title defense from this uh, for this belt. Uh, we were just third. Oh, your third. The guy, I think it was Ocampo. I go, doesn't he look like him? Your Steven, turn around. Doesn't he look like the guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he do a little bit. He does. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, because I mean, you 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 haven't been in this game this long. Like you've had this belt. You got it from Cal Brook, one orbital eye out, and now you're you're stepping up. And Mikey's stepping up two weight classes for you. You just mentioned that. You're not sparring anyone really smaller. You've been sparring the same people 24 years. Do you think you might need some change a little bit in sparring partners? Uh, <laughs> not really. You know? I mean, we bring like different guys in, but for the overall thing, you know, we're sparring the same guys. And, um, you know, with me, you know, I want guys that's going to make me think and it's going to make me work hard. It's going to, you know, keep me focused and uh, keep me on my toes. So the main thing with us is being sharp and just following the game plan and doing different things. So, I mean, just smaller, smaller guy doesn't mean, you know, that guy's going to give you great work. You know, I don't want a guy that I can just push around or just beat up on. I want a guy, when I hit him, he's going to hit me back. So, I mean, we got guys in there that give me great work and um, keeps me sharp and keep me on my toes. Yeah, because he's always, he's always said many great things about you. You're really good placement. You know when your timing, you know when to throw your hands. Nothing bad has ever been said except that he's going to win. <laughs> That's the only thing. I've always asked boxers, your mythical matchup for yourself, who would you fight, dead or alive, any boxer? At uh, any weight, weight at class? Any weight class. Yeah. Um, I like to see who I do with either Hagler or, um, or Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good one. All right. Well, Errol Spence, I could sit here I and talk the, to you. I know all the, the old school boxing people are going to be like, oh, he said Sugar Ray Little Marvin Hagler. He go, <laughs> yeah. He'll get knocked out, this and yeah. that, this and that. 14 but, you know, round, could yeah. you, I don't think you could last 14 rounds. I do like 15 rounds of sparring and things like that. That's I know, sparring. I know it's, like, it's, it's a lot different, but I mean, I think I do it. I mean, we adapt to you know, anything. So if we had to do 15 rounds, 14 rounds, I think we could do that. Okay. Well, you guys, 
make sure you guys watch the truth. Um, March 16th, he's going to Arlington. He's going to Dallas. He's going home to fight in front of your family, in front of your fans. AT&T Stadium, Fox pay-per-view. Good luck to you. May the best man win. Good luck. All right, guys. I'm Sunil Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.